The Unusual Goose and the Imbecilic Woodcutter. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. A woodcutter bought him a gander, or at least that was what he supposed. As a matter of fact, twas a slander, as a later occurrence disclosed. For they locked the bird up in the garret to fatten while it grew old, and it lay there a twenty-two carat, fine egg of the purest of gold. There was much unaffected rejoicing in the home of the woodcutter then, and his wife, her exuberance voicing, proclaimed him most lucky of men. "'Tis an omen of fortune, this golden egg," she said, and of practical use. For this fowl doesn't lay any old egg. She's a highly superior goose. Twas this creature's habitual custom, this laying of superfine eggs. Then they made it their practice to dust them and pack them by dozens in kegs. But the woodcutter's mind being vapid, and his foolishness more than profuse, in order to get them more rapid he slaughtered the innocent goose. He made her a gruel of acid, which she very obligingly ate, and at once, with a touchingly placid demeanor, succumbed to her fate. With affection that passed the platonic, they buried her under the moss, and her epithet wasn't ironic in stating, We mourn for our loss. And the moral? It isn't much use, as the woodcutter found to be true, to lay for an innocent goose just because she is laying for you. End of The Unusual Goose and the Imbecilic Woodcutter